Bienvenue to Welcome to Reporters here on France 24. In this edition, we follow a group of desperate people who are just looking for the things that most of us take for granted. A home, food, water, work, family. They're the Oromo people. They've left grinding poverty in Ethiopia. They're heading towards Saudi Arabia in the belief they can find a good life there. There are no guarantees, though, most of all about their survival en route. And as you'll see, those who die on the journey are left in makeshift graves on the roadside. When the migrants leave Djibouti and uh, cross the Red Sea and reach Yemen, their problems actually get worse. Kidnap, torture, extortion, they're all commonplace as they try to cross a war zone. This film's by Charles Emtaz and Olivier Jobard. A tragic story, but we think an important one for the world to see. Sibosisa? <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> 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 it's 46 degrees Celsius in Galafi, on the border between Ethiopia and Djibouti. Like every morning, groups of migrants make their way through this barren land in the crushing heat. Their journey has been fraught with obstacles. Groups of Ethiopian migrants arrive daily in Galafi. It's the first stop of their 2,000-kilometer journey to Saudi Arabia, a perilous odyssey that will take them across Yemen, a country ravaged by civil war. Uh, 
These migrants are finally getting some rest after walking for four days straight. They managed to rent this plot of land from local farmers. And it could be days before they can sleep peacefully again. They all belong to the Oromo ethnic group, one of the largest in Ethiopia. Lucien is a former trafficker who's helped smuggle thousands of Oromos. He says the journey isn't the same for everyone. The Oromo travel in groups and get to know each other during their journey. Most of them dropped out of school years ago. They are 25, 16, or even 12 years old. Many of these migrants have already attempted the journey in the past, but failure has not deterred them. Now they're trying again. It's not the first time these men have walked this narrow asphalt road, enveloped in a constant whirlwind of dust and passing trucks. They feel their exodus won't end until they make it to Saudi Arabia. <laughs>
በውሃ ለማት በጋላ ሲማ ከዛ በዛ መጣን ምን በመኪና መጣን እዚያ መኪና ደግሞ እዚ ወዲያ ወረረ ከዛ በግር ደግሞ ትንሽ ምጣ እዚ ድረስ ወደቀ በጣም ደከማ ሞተ በራሃ በጣም ነበር እዚ ወደቀ ሞተ ቾርክ ሲወርክ በሽክ ወጥ እናንተ እናንተ ፈለጋ እናንተ ናገኘው ወጥ ጉዞ ወደ ሰው ይልከነበረ ወደ ሰው ይልከነበረ ወዝ ስድርስ ሞታች hundreds of ethiopians die every year in the djibouti desert few of those here know of the tragic history of the men and women who walked these roads before them c'est à peu près la la même route hein? le, le, les esclaves venaient de de l'éthiopie c'est l'esclavage venait de l'éthiopie allait vers euh, le yémen et surtout l'arabie euh, saoudite et les migrants ils arrivent à Djibouti et de Djibouti ils sont pris euh, euh, en charge par les trafiquants sur Obok là aussi ils attendent le moment propice pour pour traverser le détroit du Babel Vendel et arriver au Yémen On the beaches of Obak, migrants undertake the perilous crossing from Djibouti to Yemen. Once the sun sets, they are herded to the coast. Every night, around a thousand migrants wait in the shadows for the signal to cross. Many of them grew up in Ethiopia's central plains and have never seen the sea. Smugglers have given them almost no information about what lies ahead. Lukhan kara kilometer meka Lukhan ya dubne luiti te vubun kokodi nuti uno amanta na sangu bank len sakhesa no khani len jatti uba no gura jira yo ga rabbati yen male na meti yen sinqamnu yo dandesan The Obok region is the poorest in Djibouti. But in the midst of this crushing misery, the migration trade is booming. Smugglers say getting migrants across the Red Sea is the only way they can make a living. Ici, les trafiquants, ils sont payés par le nombre de têtes. Donc tout le monde veut envoyer le maximum de personnes. Mais sur la mer, Il n'y a pas de pitié. Tu prends euh, un bateau qui prend 100 personnes, si tu le charges 150 personnes, le risque, c'est c'est le naufrage. Même si on voit le risque, on ne peut rien empêcher. On laisse passer, quoi. Et le problème, c'est qu'on voit les gens, la souffrance. Et à un moment donné, ça pèse lourd.
Ayen uti ergan daya ni, torba torba seti cale jerawite. Belo ini debunne milanu seanu, alkanif guja walit tianu. Baka khunu jalanu ma, nama kermat eskai sekanje biji merdi bisa arun lecuk. Delegat, numan delegat dah fin dia, delegat dia semua harkat dah. Delegat dia semua kaya sabar fin dia meninggi. When they arrive in Yemen, migrants step into a different universe, governed by tribal rules and far removed from any official authority. Here, the migration trade takes place in the open, like in this makeshift camp, right next to the coastal road. <laughs> In the dark hours of the night, operations are in full swing. A carousel of cars and vans drop off the new arrivals from Ethiopia. In some villages, there are up to five boats a night, each carrying between one and 300 migrants. through this unknown and hostile land, the Oromos are often forced to beg for scraps. Many of these young men haven't eaten for days. Hunger and thirst aren't the only dangers. With no money or protection, 
they are also easy prey for the local mafias. <laughs> All along the road from Ras al Ara to Aden, many Roma migrants have shared stories of being kidnapped, blackmailed, and tortured. <laughs> to avoid the myriad of checkpoints and front lines scattered across Yemen, they have to take the long way around. For the vast majority of those who make it to the country's great southern port city, the journey ends here. They don't have the resources to make it to Saudi Arabia, a thousand kilometers away, and they've come too far to turn back. Wandering aimlessly in the streets of Aden, these Oromos are condemned to a life of perpetual exile. <laughs> Even for those few Oromos who make it past Aden, more obstacles lie ahead. Some have seen their dream collapse at the very last moment. Many patients in Aden's hospital are migrants who are injured trying to cross the Saudi border. <laughs> Wala <laughs> A report by Charles Emtaz and Olivier Jobau. That's it for this edition. You can see it again, of course, via the website france24.com. Thank you for watching and do stay with us.